It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Tennessee Titans. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 25. Being located in the music city, this building has hosted a lot of great music acts since its inception. But this is what she was made for, NFL football. And that's what we have today in Nashville at Nissan Stadium. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week. And off we go from Nashville. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So here are the Titans ready to go on offense for the first time. And it's Will Levis, the 25-year-old at quarterback in his second season out of Kentucky. And last year's rookie year, a bit of a mixed bag for the young signal caller out of Kentucky. Showed off plenty of tools, but was hurt in the preseason, and it took a little while to get going. But once he did, he showed exactly why the Titans wanted him. Toughness, leadership, and a big arm. The team rallied around him down the stretch. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Levitz to throw off play action. That is incomplete. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. You've got to shake that off and get going. Now a second and ten. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Levis back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Levis looking to throw. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield, and the Packers pick it up. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, they got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. And what an incredible athlete with a cannon for an arm. And he's drawn comparisons to some of the best mobile QBs the league has ever seen. In addition, this is a young man who's learned from his mistakes along the way, prepares really well each and every time now, and he's got an opportunity to blossom in this system. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. First carry for Josh Jacobs. A solid stiff arm. And he's got this down to the 35. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment.
Here's Willis. And his throw is going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Second and ten. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Now Willis. And the ball is knocked out. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. So a rocky, rocky start on both sides offensively. Turnovers exchanged. Uh, I saw what you did there. What I do? Rocky, rocky. rocky, rocky. Too rocky. I, I saw that. I got it. And, you know, and right now, they're, they're carrying it around like they are wearing boxing gloves if we're going to have <laughs> that kind of a reference. They've got to get it together and start playing a little bit better ball. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Preston Smith there on the stop. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Levis sets up to throw here. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First catch of the game for Hopkins. It's a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Levis out of the shotgun now. Going right back to DeAndre Hopkins. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Levis from the gun. That finds the former Jaguar, Calvin Ridley. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 39. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That's a 12-yard game now on back-to-back -back plays. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Levis. And that is caught. It's Ridley. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. From the two, here's first and goal. Back to throw, it's Levis. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Chigakonkwo 
a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. We're still in the first quarter, but it's apparent they're going to have to come up with a different defensive game plan for him because right now he's kind of having his way against that defense and has added a touchdown to the list. How do you slow him down? They're going to have to mix up some coverages, maybe change who's guarding him. Nick Folk for the point after. And this is good. Our score is 7 0 Tennessee. So that drives seven plays in length. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Willis looks to pass it here. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Willis now off play action. Now this aired out deep for Reed. And he's got it inside the 10. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 54 yards. That's how you put field position. What a play right there. That nearly went the distance. Credit this defense for not giving up. They get him down just short of the goal line, but the damage is done. It's going to be first and goal from an ideal position. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Jacobs will score. Touchdown, Packers. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. A drive there of just four plays, and it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. 
And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. And his throw here is incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Now Levis. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. That's really good play design right there, and it's one that comes down to the offensive line. It's a deep in route, but it's only going to work if that line gives you time in the pocket to wait for the route to develop. Mission accomplished there as they pick up the first down. Off the play fake, Levis being chased out left. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle and frankly partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback, never bought the play action fake. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Levis to throw it. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Levis now off of play action. Packer pressure, and down he goes. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. on the punt there and the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and ten Green Bay's offense ready to go again and they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown and confidence is powerful isn't it when you scored once you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again doesn't matter what the defense throws at them they feel like they're in a groove right now and they want to get out there and show it yeah hoping to stay in that groove here this go around on the ground is Jacobs to start the drive. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. 
Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he's going to lose yardage here back at the eight. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. And looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Jacobs going to try the middle. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. On now is the Packers punter as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And a fair catch called for and taken right on the midfield stripe. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Pollard will take it up the gut. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. These two teams all tied after one. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Here's Levis. Throwing the out route, finding Boyd for the completion. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. Pardon, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. He'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play. And the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Tony Pollard. A 16-yard touchdown run. And the Titans have taken the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. 
Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule he did not get the football to break the plane. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Pollard diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. So he had the nice run to get him down there. Was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that makes the score 14-7. to There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. They're running with power here. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. He can't get him down. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Third and two. Oh, and the hard count might have got him. This might be a first down. A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count got him there? Yes. And maybe that extra hut, you know, <laughs> that, that extra emphasis on it, got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. Good work that time to get him to jump, and now here's first and ten. That's complete to Dobbs. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Willis. Throw left side complete. That's Jacobs. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short game. Third and four. Now Willis to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, 
It looks like they're going to have the football back again. And here's Daniel wheeling on now to punt. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Working from the gun, here's Levis. He finds Hopkins complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. And how many times throughout his career have we said DeAndre Hopkins with the catch and a first down, and he does it again right there. A strong first season in Tennessee, and now he's got some more help around him, so he expects to be even better and have more opportunities downfield. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From just shy of midfield, here's second and a couple. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. I haven't met a defense coordinator yet that thinks second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. The Titans on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Now a give here to Pollard. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second and nine from the 44. Levis looking to throw. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. It's Preston Smith. He gets the sack there. An assortment of sacks in this game. This one the product of a good jump and terrific effort. Moves quickly off the snap of the ball. Doesn't let up until he's in the backfield and impacting the quarterback. way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Levis back to throw. And pressure coming and they got him once again. With Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. 
And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Got his man. That's Luke Musgrave. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. Play fake. Here's Willis. His throw incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And Jacobs, I don't think he's going to get there. No, it appears they're going to mark him short of the first. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play. Let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game, even though it occurred early. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it'll be Titan football. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Levis sets up to throw here. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Well, they go play action. Here's Levis. That's to the tight end, Wiley. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. Here's third and seven. They'll drop to throw. And he is caught. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That third down conversion, good for 23. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And Levis going back to the air. A short throw taken in by Conquo. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and it passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete but they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive this time he gets it out to his back and it's another nice play and another first down they've got the defense on their heels a little bit they're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays and that nearly intercepted well, the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. 
that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Throw to the right, caught by Akakwo. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. They'll throw it again with Levis. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Fourth down, Levis. And that is taken in by Boyd. And the Titans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Fourth and two, they got it. That was kind of that gray area. Is that a feel thing, whether you go run or pass there offensively? I think it's a feel thing. It's a tendency thing about what you like to do yourself on offense, as well as knowing how strong they are against the run on defense. Got to make a decision, and they made the correct one. Levis out of the shotgun now. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. A very costly sack there on third and goal. Pushes him back big time. And now you figure the field goal team coming on on fourth. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Levis from the gun. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they were very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. The folks' kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in Nashville, the Music City, with the Titans out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Titans got a strong first half out of the Kentucky man, their quarterback, Will Levis. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as these guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. In well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense is throwing at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. On the ground, Jacobs will get the third quarter started. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Here's a second and five.
Willis will look to throw it. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. 45 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. They'll send Reed in motion left. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held them to no gain. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Willis out of the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence felt there a big pickup on third down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll motion out one of the tight ends. Here's Jacobs. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. Josh Jacobs, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers are back within a score. Well, let the natural light of today reflect he is now getting into the end zone two times. Look at you. You're a little uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Is that his name? No, nah, I was just going with the meteorologist. Said it was a day game. I'm here. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. now to kick this one away and off it goes and able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line the Titans offense and quarterback Will Levis ready to go to work once more and he had it going in the first half that's for sure he's really had his way with his secondary they've been powerless to stop him and he'll look to keep it rolling right here
Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Levis. And his throw is going to be incomplete. For plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to and maybe his rhythm confused. is just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's going to have to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Levis to throw it. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Levis to throw off play action. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Call that a very strong gain of 24. This is all about finding the open space in the middle of the field. How do you do that? One way is through play action. That's going to freeze those linebacks for just a split second, and sometimes that's all you need. They run a deep in route behind them, and it works to perfection. Now Levis. That's going to be caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Spears. Fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. Now here's Pollard. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans had six to their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. On for the extra point is Folk. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And not much doing on the return. Good coverage there. Going to stop him in his tracks at the 15-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? On the ground is Jacobs to start the drive. That tackle by Jeffrey Simmons. 
Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. Willis now off play action. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. Yeah, he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. Here's Jacobs from the gun. Pushing his way through. And he's taken down inside the 30. 65 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. And he pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Now Willis to throw. And this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Fourth down and no hesitation from Matt LaFleur as he sends out the field goal unit. And his kick here is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man. Tony Pollard is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so is offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those <laughs> are some massive men. Here's Levis. He'll complete this one. Do a kind of And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 35, here's second and two. He finds Hopkins complete. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Back to throw, it's Levis. He finds his man, Pollard. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. 
And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. In motion right is Hopkins. Now again, it's Levis looking to throw it. Caught left side, Hopkins. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest and a first down. Levis sets up to throw here. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Levis looking to throw. It's complete to Hopkins. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 30. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game. First and ten here. A short throw taken in by Conquo. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Working from the gun. Here's Levis. A cock roll holds it in left side. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. It's the Titans. They've got the football. They'll be looking to extend their lead here as we begin the fourth quarter. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Levis back to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They read zone coverage there and thought there was some space to send their guy right into the middle on a slant, hoping he would get lost. Instead, they read it quite well and closed quickly. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Back to throw again. Now he's got it. They stopped short. Down at the one. Had the great move, but couldn't get it all the way home. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. They'll throw it again with Levis. Flushed it. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Will Levis punching it in from a yard away. And the Titans have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here. And that winds up a touchdown. Now Folk for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So that one a long 11 play drive. And the drive is capped off with a touchdown run by Will Levis.
There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Another drive coming up for this Packers offense. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Off the play fake, here's Willis. He'll swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. To throw, here's Willis. Now this aired out deep for Reed. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. On now is the Packers punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. On the return, Jackson. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Titans offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run. But you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. On second and seven, Levis. And the catch made by Hopkins. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Levis from the gun. Going right back to DeAndre Hopkins. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, <laughs> stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Levis out of the shotgun now. He finds his man, complete. That's Hopkins. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Levis. Throw right side caught by Ridley. Oh, it. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Calvin Ridley, 34 yards. And the Titans have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And. Well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. 
Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. And he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. Willis looking to throw it. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Uh, another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. We've seen that the deep ball has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Levis to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. They are certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. Here's second and ten. Now Levis. Throwing the out route, finding Boyd for the completion. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. First down, Titans gain of 12. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. 
Great tackling because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch. And most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That'll put him up over 160 yards receiving now for the game. They can't seem to stop it. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Levis to throw once more. That's complete right around the eight. So they'll get nothing out of that play at its second and goal. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. Well, this O-line's been great. They've got the big lead, so give them a pass there, I guess. Yeah, I would think so, because if we were grading them on their performance in this game, a lot of pluses in their boxes so far. They'll look to throw again. He finds his man complete. It's Hopkins. And this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and that will lead to a third and goal. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense, exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. Third and goal, here's Levis. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the left hash, just a 32-yard attempt. And Folk's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, it just has a different feel, doesn't a it? A different feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. And last time went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Now Willis to throw. That's taken in by Watson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. Willis out of the gun. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reed. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 yards for number 11.
Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Right back to the air with Willis. And they move this all the way down to the nine. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Here's Willis. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's Roger McCreary with a pick. And the Titans are going to have it here at their own 15. So certainly a big mistake there, Charles. First and goal, and they throw the interception. Oh, that's just agonizing for a team because you still got at least two, maybe three downs in your pocket. So if it's not there on first down, there is no sense in trying to force something. Instead, they turn the ball over. Tennessee offense set to go again. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Here's Levis. Flush to his right. Keeps himself upright. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired. Well, he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Back to throw, it's Levis. And it's hauled in by Nick Vanette. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to bring up second down. He'll take it up the gut. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Now that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking it in the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way they have to get the ball back now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop and he nearly got the first himself but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short decent gain on the scramble to six but now it's fourth that was a good effort there trying to do it on his own but as a defender you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you and if you take off too quick to try and get him down he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And when you break it down, yeah, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this one. I think you felt the same way yeah. based on our conversation after the production meeting. But obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden, whoosh, there it is. This thing is pretty much done. And the crowd stayed with it to celebrate because they're like, let's enjoy watching our team play this well. This is fun.